Oh, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. Hope you're having a good week. It's not as hot as last week, which is good. I got home last night. It was still, I got home at 7.30, it was still 22 degrees. Went out for a walk in the forest with daughter number one. It was, it was lovely, it was really good. So I'm, I'm glad it's not the 30 degrees plus that it was the other week. Oh, that was horrible, sweat dripping. It, not nice, not nice. Anyway, before I start, I wanna say a big thank you. Now, we had Dr. Bob in. Uh, a few weeks ago, and he showed us how to make that amazing golfer out of balloons. So first of all, thank you, Dr. Bob, once again, for coming in. However, I love it when we people get inspiration from BMTV and the guests that we have on BMTV. And seemingly, somebody has been inspired by Dr. Bob, and that somebody is Sam Kelly. So this is her attempt. Now, she did say she was really, really rushed, so she couldn't do the full thing the way she'd like it, but she had a go. And I think that's what this is all about. It's about having a go. So she had a go and this is what she created. So Sam, I just wanted to say well done and uh, thank you for putting that out there. And as the first person to create one because you are inspired by BMTV and to put it out there on social media, on the Navas page and your Facebook page and everything, the next time you place an order, I'm gonna give you a few goodies, a few bits and bobs, some confetti and balloons and, and bits and bobs in there. So. Thank you so much for, for doing that, and well done. It was an, an, an awesome job. Now, speaking of Dr. Bob, when he was down the other week, we did some BMTV Balloon Basics. Now, you might not be familiar with BMTV Balloon Basics, but it's one, just one of our playlists on our YouTube channel. Type in Balloon Market in YouTube, click on Playlist, and you'll see BMTV Balloon Basics. And it, it, it does what it says on the tin. It is Balloon basics, how to tie a knot, simple stuff like that. Um, but this, Dr. Bob did one, and it was, we get asked this question all the time, every single week, and it is, how do you tie deco bubbles? So Dr. Bob showed us three different ways of tying deco bubbles. Now one was with a, a North Star foil number inside a 20 inch deco bubble, which I know is quite popular at the moment. And he showed us how to do that. And it's a different way to the way Mark from Qualitex showed us how to put a foil inside a bubble balloon. So it might be worth watching. I think it shows that there's no absolute right or wrong with, with what we do in this industry. It's it, it, whatever works for you. And Dr. Bob was, was absolutely adamant. No, 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 this works best. But Mark had done it a different way. So worth a watch just to get a different viewpoint on, on how to do that. So um, yeah, have a look. BMTV Balloon Basics. Now, I've got an apology to make. Yes, our phones were having problems last week. Let me explain to you what it was. We've got a non-geographic number, an 0300 number. And basically, they cost the same if you, well, it's included in most mobile tariffs now, so it's just like calling a landline. Um, and it's a local call if you're calling from a landline. And we've got one of those, we've had it for a year. Uh, you might remember a few years ago, the old 0800 numbers, that, 0845 numbers that people had. People didn't like them because they were charged more for it. Well, the 0300 numbers are not like that, they're the opposite, they're effectively like a normal number. And uh, we've had it with one supplier for years, really. And then we changed our phones a few months ago to this other supplier, and we were gonna port, it's called porting numbers over to this supplier. Now you think that'd be relatively easy. Supplier one, we wanna move this number to supplier two. Yeah, it's taken months. It's been a real nightmare, not been very good at all. Anyway, it was finally happening. And on Monday, this week, it was supposed to happen. The changeover was supposed to happen. However, old supplier that uses BT said, well, clearly said, yeah, we don't want that anymore. So they, they stopped the service and put in a, a, a report to a, an engineer and everything, but obviously nothing happened. So therefore you couldn't get through to us over the weekend. So I do apologize. We were still here. We were, we still, the phones were still working and um, it, we could still make calls out, but we couldn't receive any calls on Friday. And over the weekend, you wouldn't have been, been able to leave any messages for us. So I do apologize. It's all back to normal now. The numbers are working now. Um, so yes, it is all, all good. So I do apologize for that. I did put a Facebook Live out there and a YouTube Live just to say, Really sorry. I, I do that, by the way, for these sort of things. Anything that I want to communicate quickly or urgently, like when bubbles came back into stock, and I think I did a, a Facebook Live, um, because you're notified on you by YouTube and on by Facebook. Hey, somebody's doing a live now. You might want to watch this, and that's why I do it because it's the quickest way to to get out there. So you can set your notifications if you follow us on your subscribe on YouTube. You can set your notifications to be told about any new videos, and the same on Facebook. You can actually have our posts on Facebook come up first. I think. You click on it and just choose to see posts first from Balloon Market. So 
Um, that is why we did it. Uh, we also, I used, I did a Facebook, I think it was a Facebook Live earlier in the week. It might have been a YouTube Live. It was one or the other. And told you about a few new items. And this was the main thing, feathers. We've ummed and ahed about feathers for a while now. We weren't too sure what the demand would be like. Yeah, we shouldn't have worried because we did the Facebook Live and basically I think we're out of three colours already. The main one being rose gold. We got rose gold feathers, look. And um, I think we, we hit the nail on the head with, with this colour. I think it's a pretty good representation of rose gold. So I was really pleased with that. But anyway, they went. So we don't have any apart from these ones. Um, we will hopefully have them very, very soon. Hopefully next week. So the second week in July, 2017, depending when you're watching this. Um, so hopefully we'll have those in soon. We're out of the pale pink as well and the white, but I've brought a few of the colors that we've got gold as well and black and a few others. However, I've got a question for you. If you're, if you're selling feather balloons, and that's what you do, that's the main part of your business, then these bags are probably fine. These are 250 gram bags. They would fill roughly, they say about 10 grams of feathers per balloon. 10 grams of feathers is actually quite a lot. Which, which is heavier? 10 grams of feathers or 10 grams of lead? Little question for you. Anyway, the question, question of the week is, um, if you don't do feather balloons as the main part of your business, how many feathers do you want to buy? So how many feather balloons would you want in a bag of feathers effectively? Do you just want to buy them individually? So enough feathers to do one balloon? Do you want to buy enough feathers to do five balloons? Leave your comments down below. Just give me a number. One, two, five, ten on Facebook and YouTube. Please leave that down below. But so we want to try and get what, what people want. That's what we're trying to do. Just give you the sort of size packs that, that you want. Um, and these, these are great, I say, if you're doing it all the time, but please let us know. Now, talking of giving you what you want, I've, I, I've, been, I've been hassled by a young lady called, called Tracy, and she was saying, Greg, I want cheaper delivery to the Channel Islands. And I asked, she said, it's really expensive. I said, I know, DPD is really expensive, so it's really expensive. Um, and so I, I tried and DPD wouldn't really do anything. So we've got another courier now that's going to help us out with Channel Island deliveries. So we've reduced the price for, I think it was up at £24, down to £12. And if you use the free Dell code as you go through checkout, it takes 6 95 off. So you're getting a Chan Channel Islands delivery for £5 and five of our British pennies, which I think is pretty good. So a 25 kilo box of balloons and things um, are five pound five to the Channel Islands. So sometimes, you know, hustlers ask us to do things and, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. If, you've, if you want that dispatched on the same day, really you need to order before 10, 10.30 because we're not having this courier collect on a daily basis like we do DPD. So we've got to let them know and they would, we'd come and collect it um, that same day. And it takes a couple of days, two or three days to get there. So um, yes, that is available now. And as an extra bonus, if you live on the Isle of Man and the Isles, or the Isles of Scilly, then we've reduced the prices there as well. So yes, that is available right now on the website. Any problems? If I've not done it right, please let me know. I do apologize if I have messed it up, but I think it's okay. I think it is okay. Right, now we are having some updates. Oh, updates? I don't know what an update is. Updates done to our websites. There you go, that's what I wanted to say. And it mainly revolves around this thing, mobile phone. More and more of us are using our mobile as our main form of well, communication, be it email, be it text, be it instant message, direct message, be it, well, you can use it as a telephone, I guess, as well, occasionally. Um, and it's websites have to be able to well, operate well on a mobile. Most websites these days, modern websites, they're called responsive websites and they respond to the size of the screen. So if it's on a big screen, you'll see it this way. And then if it's on a smaller screen, then it responds and moves things around and changes things to um, look good on a mobile. And that's where we've been focusing on. We've been focusing on the mobile side of the website. So basically we've been making buttons bigger for big fat thumbs, just making it easier to, to navigate and to do what you need to do to place an order. Um, I was at Legoland a few years ago we were in the queue to, I don't know, go on a kid's ride, little train or something. And um, 
there's a woman in front of us with a friend, and she was like, oh, what do you think of this one? Oh, this. And I had a sneaky little look. And she was ordering shoes on Amazon while she was in the queue to go on a kid's ride. It's just phones go everywhere. We do have some customers that phone us up and say, I'd like to place an order. And they're in the playground when they're picking up the kids and stuff like that. So it, it goes everywhere. Your, your world, your, there's actually telephone anxiety. People that are away from their mobile for more than X number of minutes. They start to, to feel anxious and, and tense, um, which, is, is the world we live in today. We did have a, a customer phone us this week and they said, tell me a little bit more about your reorder facility. And it's something, I, I don't think it's used very much, I have to be honest, but it's something that came from the frustration when I was ordering stationery of having to go and search for the products that I bought on a regular basis. But I had to navigate on this website or I had to do a search. Or I had to enter what printer I had so I could get the same cartridge again. All I wanted to do was go to my old orders, see what I had last time, add it to my basket and then check out. And that's basically what this is. You'll see it more on the, on the mobile version now. We're gonna have a button on the, the top, top left that says reorder items. Click on that, it brings up your last X number of orders and you can just tick individual items from those orders and add them to the basket all at once. So it's giving you the gift of time, that's what it's doing. So um, yeah, give it a go, let us know what you think. You can tweak, once you've added everything to your basket, if you want more or less, you can tweak the volumes that you're ordering. And um, yeah, let us know how, how, that, how much time that actually saves you. Actually, speaking of time saving, we've just started using something called Receipt Bank. We use zero for our accounts links to something called Receipt Bank. And Receipt Bank, basically, our invoices come in there and they're automatically checked and put onto zero. It's fantastic, it's all done by technology. Absolutely amazing. Um, Receipt Bank, have a, have a little look, have a little look. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Anyway, I digress slightly there. Now, let's have a look at these last few bits of stock. We've got the Starburst balloons from Unique. We've got those in rose gold now. We've got the Twirls. They went out of stock almost as soon as they came into stock from Anagram, really popular. I apologize if by the time you watch this on Thursday, they are gone, but they are really popular. Fingers crossed they won't be, but they're back in stock now. Coming to the end of term, um, we've got the teacher balloons and an apple for teacher. If you want to be really adventurous, you can check back on balloon market from last year, possibly even the year before BMTV, when I showed you how to make an apple for teacher. Yeah, have a look at this after this. Now, that's it from me this week. Question of the week. How many feather balloons do you want to be able to do from a pack of feathers? Leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye.